You should have brought the other table to put it side by side. Mm. Okay, tungsten. A lot of people have requested for us to shoot tungsten and the biggest size I could kind of find was this little plate. It's a five millimeter thick and I also got a regular steel five millimeter thick to compare the two side by side. But this one of course is a little bit bigger than this tungsten. Uh, price comparison just for your guys' curiosity. If you guys remember that one uh, one and a half inch titanium plate that I shot, I was uh, getting those between four to five hundred dollars a piece. But this tungsten being this little uh, compared to that uh, big uh, titanium plate, this alone was about four hundred dollars. That's how expensive tungsten is. And I wasn't able to find a larger one. If anybody knows of a larger version of this, uh, email me. But anyway, so tungsten, it's got the highest melting point of all uh, metals and also NASA is uh, using it uh, for their new uh, shuttle they're sending to uh, space and it's going to be collecting, um, I'm not sure what part exactly, but the, there's a piece that is attached to the, uh, their, their new shuttle and it's going to have a little element of tungsten in there where it just absorbs all the material coming from sun. So that's also interesting. Because it's so little, I'm gonna have to choose uh, smaller calibers, but I kind of went with calibers that are traveling uh, faster than your ordinary ones. So uh, even on the 22, I'm gonna use a rifle to get that higher velocity to see if we'll penetrate this or not. And then we'll work our way up, and uh, I will also be shooting a steel five, uh, five millimeter. Okay, I will also leave some links in the description for more in uh, information on tungsten. And uh, this is a tungsten carbine, so we'll see what happens. That's pretty. Enough talking? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no español today. <laughs> okay, should we start with regular steel and then shoot the tungsten? No, no, no. We put uh, next another table and you shoot one, one and one. One, the same thing. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, now we don't have to go back and forth too much. Yes, good okay. idea. Let me do that. Ay, cabrón. Don't run, please. Okay. Tungsten versus steel. They are both tilted at around 45 degrees. Uh, that's pretty got your ears? Yes. Okay. Oh, it breaks. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, how did this break? Well, that's the end of the video for the <laughs> <laughs> did they Did they trick me into selling this? I don't no, that, no, it's real Tungsten. Tungsten. That's why it breaks. Let's compare the shots. Same. <laughs> it's the same, you can't really tell. But Oh, you can feel something, this one. I wonder because oh, I had it too. just very because it was in an angle like that, it made a difference. No, come on, don't pull like that. Hey, make an angle. Uh, okay, fine. I don't want to die today. Well, not today. In general, I'm not really sure why this cracked. Uh, it's if sharp. You know, leave it in the comments. Yeah, super sharp. Please don't cut yourself. Let me, let me cut. No, this. don't cut yourself. Okay. <laughs> so we'll put this back here. Let's just go to a different round. Oh, look. Cut my my hairs. Oh my god, it's super sharp. Hold the camera, cabrón. <laughs> so this super this sharp thing is watch. So sharp. Watch. Jasper's shaving his wait, 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 wait. Okay, go ahead. Oh my god, look at this thing. It's, it's clean. Hey, you can use it to shave your face next time with that. Yeah, watch. Just don't cut yourself, please. Super sharp. Oh my god! <laughs> That's funny. This, look at this. All right, next we'll use a 5.7. I'm laughing because this thing is probably going to break in more pieces. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a natural behavior for tungsten to break like that. Leave in the comments if anybody knows a little more about tungsten. And we're using these uh, same grain bullets. These are the 40 grain, same as that other 22. But they're traveling close to 3,000 feet per second. A lot faster. You ready? I'm ready. And it's the FN57. 
got your ears? Yes. Might as well shoot the tungsten hole. Oh, oh, disappear. <laughs> well, this is the end of the video. <laughs> Honestly, it is the end of the video. Okay. It seems like this tungsten, if it is tungsten, I don't know at this point anymore. It's a super br a br a brittle, brittle, super brittle, brittle. Breakable. It's brittle. <laughs> so it's shattering. And it is kind of heavy too. Uh, like this little piece is super heavy. It might have a high uh, melting point. It might be really tough in some uh, applications, but as far as taking a direct hit like this, on the plate, it's shattering it in uh, small pieces. Just better bring it a little closer. Maybe we can sell this tungsten and get our money back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should super glue it, <laughs> give it back to the guy. <laughs> now I got this from a good source, so I know it's not fake or anything like that. So there's no way it's uh, it's fake. The form it's in being or being a uh, um, tungsten carbine. It might make a big difference on how it's handling direct hits from a bullet. I'm gonna have to stop the video at this point. As you can see, I got it in small pieces. <laughs> wow. So I don't know how this is supposed to be bulletproof, obviously. Maybe we need something thicker. Half inch. Maybe being so skinny, it didn't have uh, any resistance to bullet. Probably, yeah. I don't know. This is uh, not what I was expecting. What happened when we shot the metal? Oh, Nothing. wow. Look at this. Small little uh, ding on the surface, but it did not uh, take a chip off or nothing. This is some tough steel too, actually. You know what, since we're already here, let's shoot it with a couple more rounds to see what this one does. Okay. We're gonna forget about that uh, tungsten carbine. Okay. Let's go with a different round on that one. Okay, next it's gonna be a 357 Magnum. Jasperi, got your ears? Go back yeah. a little bit, please. No, yes. <laughs> also, shout out to the walkers. They're the ear protections that I'm using. Jasperi, ready? I'm ready. Okay, 357. Nothing. Wow, nothing. I mean, it did kind of, uh, it didn't really bulge the back too much. Not even like a half a millimeter. It just fragmented on the surface and Evaporated. small little ding, maybe. Maybe half a millimeter ding in there. You can't really tell. Well, you, you can kind of tell, but it's not nothing major. Okay, different round. This is a 10 millimeter. It's a super pumped up 9mm. <laughs> okay, Jasper, are you ready for this one? I'm ready! Go back a little more on this. Clear! Wow, that 10mm uh, did more damage. It punched it pretty good. Show a little more, Jasper. Right over there. This, the steel plate, even though it's five millimeter, it's really good. Hey, there's a little uh, jacket over here. Don't cut yourself when you touch that. I, I cut myself. <laughs> okay, this is gonna wrap it up. I just brought uh, uh, six five Creedmoor from Savage, and we're using these Underwood ammos. This is a six five Creedmoor. Just better you focused in there. Yes. Okay. And uh, this will wrap it up. Go back a little more. We should go a little more than usual on this one. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, you ready? I'm ready! Got your ears? Yes! Fire in a hole. Woo! Clear. No way. <laughs> Just not sure why I went a little bit to, uh, to the corner like that. Well, I, was, I knew it was gonna come out. In and out. Ready? I'm ready! Go back. Well, actually, you know what? It penetrated it, so it's not gonna come back. Ready? Ready! Fire and all. 
car, bro? Something, something is wrong with my sights. As usual, I was aiming center both times. Or maybe this time I came a bit lower, but uh, it went here. Anyway, it's coming out. Uh, we got a sight in this rifle too. Come on, we need sight all the guns. Sight in all the guns. <laughs> Uh, you know how much time it's gonna take to sight in all those guys. <laughs> okay, NASA. A message to NASA: uh, retract the project because uh, the, the tungsten you guys are using is no good. It's no good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe use titanium. Actually, there's a lot of titanium on that uh, shuttle that they got. Is it called a shuttle or what? E I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Let me Google and see what is it called. Probe. It's a probe. That's what the right term is. So NASA, reconsider your uh, apparatus that you have mounted on that probe. It might melt or just not return uh, based on uh, scientific results that you saw here today. Uh, that's it for this test. Sorry it was uh, somewhat boring. At least we continued with that steel. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe as an always. Oh wait, as an no. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>